Hey guys, Mike here. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about port mirroring on a Ford switch. We're going to use specifically port based mirroring or spanning. Um, had a client today actually asked me to do this on their 1024Es and then realized that I don't have a video that actually talks through this. Now, there is a gotcha. I don't have a Ford switch available that I can actually show on video. They all belong to clients, right? So I'm going to walk through the documentation and just talk about what's taking place when you configure a port based mirror on a switch that supports it that happens to be managed by Ford Link. So let's jump in. First things first, <clears throat> you have a list of switches that are being managed by your FortiGate, right? And in our example, we're going to keep it very, very simple. Um, and this is specifically what we're looking at right here to configure port based mirroring. Basically what you do is whenever you're configuring a Forda switch that's been managed by a FortiGate, you always have to go into the config switch controller manage switch section. Why is that? Well, that's because the switches pull their config from the FortiGate. That's what gives you the ability to update their configuration template and let things go from there. So basically in our example, let's say we have a single 1024E Forda switch. Maybe port 24 is going to the FortiGate and port 23 is free to use. So what we would do is we would go to edit and then that Ford to switch is serial number. We would type config space mirror and hit enter and that'll put you in the mirror configuration plane. Next we would type edit and then space and the name of our mirror much like we do when we're creating LLDP profiles or anything like that, right? So edit space mirror name. So if you're doing this on yours, you can just do mirror dash example or something. We set our status to active. And we set our destination. That's the port that you want all the traffic to be mirrored to or spanned to. And basically in this example, that's port 23, right? Because port 24 is going to our FortiGate. Port 23 is what we're going to have our smart appliance or whatever we wish to receive the span. So set destination to port 23 set switching packet. So by default, this is disabled. In my experience, I have left it disabled, but that's because I am running a device that's just going to be in promiscuous mode, accepting all the data, you know, like a Arctic Wolf Networks sock tap or something like that, right? Um, if you're running another device that also needs to be able to pass packets on it, you would enable this. So for instance, if you have a laptop that needs to get out to the internet as well, Set source ingress. Now we're interested in seeing all the traffic that's going from the switch up to the FortiGate, right? So we would set our source ingress to port 24. But just in the same, we're also going to set our source egress to port 24. That means any data that's coming into that port or leaving that port will be spanned off to port 23 as we configured it. And then you click next to get out of that specific mirror. You do end to get out of the config mirror control pane, if you will. And then you do next to get out of that switch. And basically what that does is that gives you the ability to say any traffic coming into or leaving port 24 needs to be spanned to port 23 so that my security device or my analytics device or whatever can receive that data and then do whatever it is it does. So very, very rudimentary. I'm going to try to do an example of this with an actual Forda switch soon that will not only show you in the CLI how to do it verbatim, but we'll actually see the results of it because I'm going to have a either a laptop doing Wireshark or some type of security appliance that's a smart tap or something like that. So anyways, guys, hopefully this provides you a little bit of insight into how to configure a port mirror on a Forda switch that's being managed by FortiLink. Um, you would think it would be a lot more straightforward and in the GUI by now, but Say, Libby, you know, Fortinet will eventually get it there. Anyways, do me a favor. If the video provided you value, hit like, hit subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out the Packet Llama channel. It doesn't have very many videos. I'm still working on how I'm going to approach it. But uh, it's going to be a lot more generic, if you will.